This is the story of the magical adventure of Moammar Gaddafi. You can read along with me. You will know it's time to turn the page when you hear the chime ring like this. Let's begin now. Once upon a time in the magical kingdom of Libya, there lived a mean old king. Nobody liked King Idris, especially a young man named Moammar Gaddafi. Gaddafi is a brave soldier, and he does not like wicked kings. He had a brilliant plan. Gaddafi waited for the king to leave the kingdom. When the king was away, Gaddafi saved the kingdom from the evil king. Gaddafi is now the ruler of Libya. Hooray, Gaddafi, shout the villagers. Gaddafi makes a new rule. No more kings. But aren't you our new king, ask the villagers? Of course not, says Gaddafi. I am your dictator. What a relief, says the villagers. Gaddafi's second new rule, no more dirty Italians. There is only one thing that Gaddafi hates more than kings, and that is Italians. Gaddafi was a happy dictator. He had everything he ever wanted. Too bad he became mad with power. Gaddafi decided to pick fights with his neighboring kingdoms. Gaddafi fought wars, blew up nightclubs, funded terrorists, and blew up an airplane. Oh, what fun, shouted Gaddafi. This made the other kingdoms very angry, but they didn't do very much about it. Ha ha ha, laughed Gaddafi. And so Gaddafi lived happily for many years. He even became friends with the kingdoms that were mad at him. Little did Gaddafi know, his villagers were no longer happy with their dictator. Mr. Gaddafi, please retire, said the villagers. Fuck you, peasants, shouted Gaddafi. So the villagers fought Gaddafi and his soldiers. Many things and people were blown up. Gaddafi thought he would never lose, but one day, the villagers caught up with Gaddafi. Uh-oh, said Gaddafi. The villagers shot and beat Gaddafi so badly that he died from his injuries. Hooray, shout the villagers! The moral of the story? If you are going to be a dictator, don't be a dick.